our possibly favorite among these where we're ranking them loosely, although there's some movies that maybe should be a little higher, some a little lower. It's a, a loose ranking of our genre favorite. For sure. Yeah. Uh, but let's talk, talk about Nicole Hall of Center's new film with Julie Louis Dreyfus, Tobias Menzies, Michaela Watkins. This one's called You Hurt My Feelings. And it's about a New York novelist who uh, uh, has a happy marriage to her therapist husband, but one day overhears that he hates her new novel, Arturo. Uh, I think this is one of the ones that I was really excited about You're because very excited. Uh, Nicole Hollif Center is a really good writer and has made some really good films. Uh, she's somewhat recently participated in the screenplay for... Uh, the, uh, the Last, Last Duel. Duel. She also previously worked with Julia Louis-Dreyfus on the delightful romantic comedy Enough Said. Mm. What did you take What did you take away from her take on difficulties in happy marriages? Uh, I feel like you're a bigger fan of uh, Dreyfus than I am, mm. but I respect her. She's yeah. on a league of her own at this point where it's like, I mean, if you're an alum from Seinfeld, mm-hmm. you got Veep under your belt, mm-hmm. you're just doing whatever you want in the Marvel series yeah. now? She mm-hmm. won, like, several Emmys for the New Adventures of Old Christine, and that's oh, just that's the, something that people yeah. don't even bring up, so right. she has so many at, other things on her resume. Point, yeah, this yeah. is a person who I always told Alina when she was on the Letterman thing where he retired and then unretired himself, the, the pockets of conversation that they get into is, is next level. Mm. And this was the one screening that we've been talking about we were in, we were out, yes. the Q&As were clean. Uh, Michael J. Fox was there as well. Yeah, it great was, moment. It was a really great screening by professionals. This is a comedy done to a T. Mm-hmm. They are making jokes where they don't care if you laugh or not. It's not on them, it's on you to see if you even recognize what they're, what they're working with. Yeah. Uh, it's a great ensemble. Everybody uh, works really well off of each yes. other, especially because they're close mm-hmm. friends or they're related. But they get into these pockets of different things. Yes, there's the, oh no, my husband did something and I feel sad. But it's the ripple effects of how that comes from the mother. Mm-hmm. How yep. she imposes that on the sister. How and it affects the son. son. Yeah. That's the, the best one. Mm-hmm. Owen Teague, I've been saying, I'm yeah. not going to forget this boy's name from now on. Yeah. He killed it in it. Uh, but yeah. so did everybody. Yeah, I mean, it's a, a really great ensemble. Just, not the, just the leads, but even some of the people who show up in smaller roles. There's all the different clients that uh, Tobias Menzies sees as a therapist, some of our favorites, like Zach Cherry. Mm-hmm. They have David Cross and Amber Tamblin playing an, uh, an unhappy married couple, yeah. which is also very fun. Yeah. I, I just thought this was so lovely and funny and, yeah. and well-observed because it really feels true to life. It, it It is about this very happy marriage and these kind of like little white lies we tell yes. to get through uh, our relationships and, and smooth over things with the people we love. Uh, it, I, I've been calling it kind of cozy force majeure because it yeah, plays yeah, on great. the same kind of like anxieties, but it's so warm and it never mm-hmm. really feels like their relationship is in kind of some existential trouble. Mm-hmm. Just it's unsure how they're going to work through it, how they're going to resolve it. And the way they do is just through a very like through being very lovely and being very uh, nice to each other. Mm-hmm. Like it's not it's a movie that has complications, but doesn't get awkward or super uncomfortable with those complications. Yeah. Best of all, I just laughed a lot. Me it. too. It's hilarious. It was fun. super fun. She was great in it. And it really is one of those things. It's like, it's an insecurity that mm. so many people can relate to in some way. And it doesn't really have a clear defined answer as to what the best choice would be. Yeah. I think there's a lot of people who came out of this film feeling it's it's, like, it's nice. It's good. I kind of feel like it's a little bit more than that. I think I it's just so, uh, it feels so true and feels so good and is so enjoyable to watch it's an easy recommendation i feel like it's one movie that pretty much any audience would respond to hour 33 yeah Yeah. very easy yeah yeah um i just think it's it's really a gift to get these kinds of movies so i I enjoyed this one i want to make sure it was high on our recommendations Mm. list so we got it here at the top of our comedies at least and this Um, is also coming out if i'm not mistaken by a24 yeah yeah one of the a24 movies in the festival release hopefully you don't have to wait that long yeah 